here, Austin. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on, good boy. Yeah. But you do. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Oh, shake. Good. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, is that good? I love the gross one. Set it down. Don't and, like do anything first. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Nope. Nope. You're gonna be fine. He's. I, I'm looking at his body language. Just cut him loose. Go pick it up. Put it down in the middle. All right. Hold on. Give me a second to put these in. There. Yeah. Just hold it up so you can't get to it. There you go. Come over here. Just set it down in the middle. Just let him appease himself for a minute. All right. Yes. All right. Just walk back. Walk back. Nice, nice, nice. You're running the show. Tell him yes. Yes, yes, yes. How do you doing? Yes. And then walk away. Don't challenge him. That's fine. He can do that. Thank you. There you go. Tell him to sit. <laughs> That's it. Just tell him. There you go. Let's walk away. Let's walk away. Nice, nice. Don't engage into a fight with him. Don't engage into a bone fight with him. All right, tell him yes again. Tell him yes again. Austin, yes. Yes. There. That's where obedience comes in. Not training, obedience. He does have some bad memories associated with those things. Yes, when it comes to aggression and challenging and fighting him. Yeah. Yes, that's why you need obedience to override those bad memories. Austin, get your toy. It's so good. Yeah, yum. Good. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Then call him. Austin, come here. Good, very yeah, good. Nice. Good boy. Great, great. You can praise him if he comes to you. There. All right. Okay. I'll narrate it later. Okay. Have him stay. Don't let him eat his food. Just pass it and have this time. Okay. Austin, stay. Reinforce it. Reinforce stay. it. Reinforce it. Don't let him eat it this time. Ready? Call him. Come sit. All right. And then you're going to let him eat it and then call him back to you at, while he's eating it. Walk back, walk, okay, that's good, that's good. Right there, call him. Awesome, come. Yeah. Nice. Good, nice, very good. Very good. So there's no challenge at the food bowl. It's instinct. Yes. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Give him some time though. Let him, let him feel the flavor. <laughs> let him get his instincts. That's okay. Go ahead, finish it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. And give him the command again. Yes. There you go. Anytime you're ready, call him. Awesome, come. Come on. There we go. Sit. So as he gets better, you're going to get closer and closer to it, right? Calling him back. And then... The correction should never be in front of the food. Awesome, It's too primitive. Very good. Now make him D-O-W-N. Drop. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You gave him time to do it too. He's not a robot. Tell him to stay and you go past it. Don't let him eat it. No. You, you moved first. Tell him to stay before stay. you move. Austin, sit. Yep, tell him, tell him to stay before stay. you move. 
Tell him to stay before you move. You're okay. You got a lot to think about. You got a lot to think about. Ready? Call him. There you go. Good job. Calling him back. Excellent. All right. He can chow. Good boy. Stay away from him. Stay away from his food. And he's not ready for that yet. He, he's got some bad memories, right? Yeah. Of you challenging him or someone challenging him. Is it better for me to be in his peripheral vision? Yes. Yes. And he is. He knows you're there. It's better if he knows where I am. Yes. Well, because he's anticipating an ass whooping. That's why you want him there. You want to teach him that your presence is not a bad thing. It's just there. All right, call him. Austin, come. Yeah, sit. Good. Good. 